I don't want to sound it, but um, I know. I'm kind of becoming a bit of a big deal. I'm only joking, but actually, on a serious note, like, the best thing happened to me the other day. I got raided by Zealand on Twitch. And, like, seven of reviewers came in. It was, like, amazing. Like, genuinely amazing. I sound like an American teenage girl. Oh, my God. Like, I got raided by Zealand, and it was, like, oh, my God. So, totally amazing. It was, oh, my God. You you, know, you should have seen it. Oh, my God. I wish you were there. But, um, on a serious note, just... Yeah, I, I don't usually do the plugging for Twitch, but twice a week at least, sometimes three, usually Monday or Tuesday, and th- Thursday or Friday. Just keep an eye on the the Twitter and on the um, on the Discord. Both links down in the below. Trying to get back into it, trying to get the following growing. It's growing on Twitch. twitchtv slash 14 I love a shameless plug. I'm trying to ignore the fact that it's been a pretty hectic January and I'm trying to calm down from it. Because a lot's happened. A lot has happened. Well, I say a lot has happened. A lot's happened sort of off camera. We've had bids coming in for Ethan Pinnock, for David Rea, for Dallas Girl, for Rico Henry. There's a lot going on. I'm getting some new coaches in. Uh, I'm also bidding for this chap, Kevin Godin, who looks like he could be potentially quite good next year. But really, if we're going to go to the Premier League, I don't think he's at the level that's required. I did make some sales. Um, it's safe to say it wasn't a very... Um, it, was, it was quite an active window in the sense that there was a lot of stuff coming in, but maybe not as much going out. I sold Tariq Fosu uh, to Bristol City for £650,000. That one went down pretty much well. David Costas had a very brief say, didn't he? Um, came in. I sold him for £2.8 million, So we made a £1.3 million pound profit. He was just not happy that he wasn't getting a lot of game time. But I was like, oh, fine. You can go, mate. Absolutely no issue. And, and then, obviously, uh, Pontus Janssen got himself injured for three months, basically, with a fractured lower leg. That might be really bad for him. Uh, well, obviously, it is very bad for him. But I'm, I'm talking future-wise. I'm not sure if he's going to recover very well from that. His physical's absolutely plummeting. He's a brilliant defender for us. But that... That's a problem. And the injuries are piling up. We've got Pontus Janssen, Ben Johnson, Dr. Silva, Marcus Force, Lekau. All of them have been injured at one point or another. Canos has managed to stay, even though there was a lot of interest in him. He'll probably go in the summer because I don't think he's quite up to the standard that's required. But the most important thing is that, as well as signing or letting go of players, I also brought in some of my own. Sadly, though, only on loan. But Curtis Jones, what a loan to get in. Four stars rated. He could obviously be much better. He is a phenomenal footballer at this level. And he's already proved that by getting a goal and assist in his first four games for the club. Mentally excellent. Physically excellent. Technically excellent. He's going to excel at this level. And he's coming for Josh De Silva into that midfield. And he's already making a massive difference in terms of our attacking output, which I'll show you in a second. He's not the only player I bought in, though, because we touched on him at the end of the last episode. But the other player I managed to bring in, which I'm very happy about, Jaffet Tanganga. Another loan in from Spurs. This guy, I think I might sign for next year. He's very valued a lot lower. His contract doesn't... But is it does expire in June 2021, but I'm not allowed to offer him one. I think I could get him on the cheap, and if I did, I think I'd be quietly quite happy. He can play all across the back four. He's obviously quite good um, in terms of all his attributes are very decent. Leadership could do a little bit of work. He's a solid defender, and I think maybe he could be very good at Premier League level. I've got to get dives into tackles out of a trait, though. But other than that... I think there's quite a lot to like about him. And that 6.75 million, I might try and sign him for next season if he plays really well. And so far, so good in that respect because we've kept three clean sheets in our last four games, only conceding a consolation to Luton. Uh, we just can't beat Wickham. We drew 0-0 with them again. So that that's a thing. Don't know why. Uh, we lost to Leeds in the FA Cup, 1-0. But 
we actually dominated the game. Should have won it, really. Patrick Bamford getting the goal there. Beat Reading 3-0, Reading a third. So to beat them 3-0 was very impressive. Beat Luton 3-1, beat Swansea 4-0. Uh, and we've got two games today against Middlesbrough, who are currently bottom of the table. Hard to believe, I know, but they are bottom of the table. We used to be a Premier League team, but struggling at the moment. And then we've got Bansley, who we're going to be hosting afterwards. I'm hoping I can fit both games in, because I've done a lot of waffling at the start in terms of where we are in the league. We're six points ahead of Bournemouth and of Watford, who are second and third, respectively. It's all going according to plan. Uh, in terms of the lineup, then, like I said, with Josh De Silva out for the period of time, uh, Matthias Jensen has been moved back into that box to box midfield role. He's actually been quite good there. Tony continues to kind of falter a little bit. He's playing at 6.68, and yet he's still got a gotten. It's only a got. I'm going to discuss his form and say that I, I need him to do a bit more, and he agrees with that, but. Yeah, he's been good, but not brilliant the last year. He's still up there with the top scorers, but I expect a little bit more. Um, really, there's only been a couple of changes to the side, mainly due to that injury process. So, Reyes in goal, Henry, Pinnock, Tanganga, and Dalsgaard now make up the back four. Yano has played quite well in that deep line playing across and giving him a bit of a run on the team. Jensen's in the box to box role, like I said. Uh, Jones is playing as the advanced playmaker with Golos on the left and Buemo on the right and Tony up front. The front three never really changes too much. So Borough are really struggling, but you wouldn't expect them to. Some of their players have got Bettinelli, they've got Dale Fry, Nathan Baker, uh, Paddy McNair, Cabano, Balassi, Chubrakpom. On the bench, you've got Mendes Lane, George Saville, uh, Duncan Watmore. These are all very good players, so I am surprised they're not doing very well. But ultimately, that's not my problem. My prerogative is to get wins on the board for the Bees. And let's hope that we can do that again today as we are in our change to black kit and the Borough are in their normal red and white. Up here in the northeast, it's always a difficult place to come, but I'm hoping that we could actually do a bit of a job on them here, keep ourselves going. They're way off as well at the bottom, actually. They're, what is it, seven points off Sheffield Wednesday. Let's not forget, start off the season with a six-point deduction. I was tempted to have a think about doing them at the start of this save, um, just with the six-point gap, but I thought, you know what, I don't back myself to do that. <laughs> um, and obviously it was the right decision because we're doing very well with Brentford. But ultimately, seeing Borough down there is a bit... Yeah, it's worrying, it's disappointing. What's more disappointing is this first-half performance where we've not really done anything as of yet. Yeah, not really got going, not really created anything. Here we go, first highlight then is Henry into Pinnock. Pinnock to Henry. Looking forward to Godos over to Matthias Jensen. Now, Jensen on the ball. He's been very creative in real life, obviously, for uh, for Brentford. And he's not been as good, probably, in this save as I was hoping he would be. But we'll see how we go. Jones, lovely ball out there with Rico Henry. His delivery is always second to none. He finds Ivan Tony. It's disallowed. That, that, mm, that's, that's close. He looks, he's onside. He's onside there. That's onside. Where's the benefit of the doubt? He's definitely onside there. Our first real moment of quality. We bury it. That's a bit disappointing. And Golos has got an injury. That's even more disappointing. Well, it looks like this going to be one more highlight before the end of this uh, first half. Where, uh, really, we don't have a lot of highlights in our games. For a team that's so kind of like attacking and very creative, we don't have a lot of highlights. As Ivan Tony. Hits it, and it's a great save by Bettinelli. Godos lets it go out for a corner. Great effort from Tony. Good save by Bettinelli. Good football all round, really. Well, nearly at the break, I'm not really that happy. They are a team really struggling, and we should be making more of this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Yanelt off. And I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Christian Norgard. Norgard's going to go there. So Norgard's going to move up. I'm going to get... Jones playing as that shadow striker role because I reckon if I can get Curtis a bit more involved, things will happen here. Ball back to Nathan Baker. If I can just get us in behind Baker, there's definitely space in behind there because he's not a very quick player. Cabano heads it on, but only as far as Pinnock. Right, we've won the ball back. Pinnock into Godos. Play the pass, son. Godos plays it back to Jensen. Jensen, this has got to be a decent ball. Or you could literally just let Jick Steele just run in there and Jick steal it off you, you idiot. Yannick Balassi, he's going to square this and it's going to go in. Balassi squares it. Tavernier, that's an absolute load of waffle. Fua Barak Bakaru scores. Absolute waffle, lads. Golos is coming off. Canos is coming on. Imbuemo's not playing very well. Kel Surprise there. I'm going to berate the team. This is not good enough. Right, Obafemi's coming on because Imbuemo has been absolutely shocking. 
Uh, going to move it forward. Rico Emery, move him up. Darsgaard, move him up. We're going for it properly. I'm going to push people forward. And we're going to try and get something out of this. As Cabano gets on the ball, whips it. That is an awful bit of goalkeeping. Absolutely unstoppable from Cabano. Absolute bollocks, mate. You're talking out your ass. Cabano here. I mean, don't get me wrong. That unstoppable my ass. He's literally floated it in. It's a floater. And that's how I would describe this performance. Canos on the ball whips it in. Tony wins the header. Oh, well done, Ivan Tony. It's his 21st goal of the season. You can't rule us out. You cannot rule us out. Jensen's coming off. He's not played very well. On comes Victor Lecal. He's usually the man for all seasons. Get him on attack. We're pushing forward. We're going to try and... Uh, we got to get something out of this. I have to get something out of this game. Good from Tanganga into Jensen. Jensen to Curtis. Jones. Great ball over the top looking for Canos. Now this has got to be a decent ball in. Or you could just run out of play. You egg. You absolute egg. We've done it so many times this series, coming back from being behind. We've done it so many times. Not like that, Norgard. The amount of times, though, that we've given the ball away in that in that third. Mendes laying. I know I pushed the fullbacks up. Great save by David Rea. I'm fuming. We've had nine shots on target. Bettinelli's played at a 7.6. So maybe, maybe it's just one of those days. I'm going to say the boys, you can't fault it. It's just one of those days. We dominated the game. We had more chances. We just didn't take them. It's classic FM. You play the bottom team, you lose. I have to do better against Barnsley. That was awful. I do not want that to derail our season. We've only lost one game all season. That's the second game in the league we've lost. Which is really impressive. But at the same time, to lose it to bottom place is so irritating. Brilliant. So now Dahl's got injured for, for, for five weeks. <sighs> falling apart isn't it it's really not going to make this easy for me is it well the one good thing I found out is that Ben Johnson is at least fit again so at least with that respect that we're going to be alright there because Dallas God's injured but at least he's going to come in it's just things are being a bit harder than they need to be right now oi, oi. right okay so second and final game of the day against Barnsley I'm a little more nervous now than I should be Golos is not fit, so Sergi Canos is going to play there instead. And that's the only change. I have to trust the team. Trust the process. I sound very Arteta right now. Trust the process. It will be fine. I told them all that the media have been backing us up lately. Go out there and show why. And I, I look, I'm inspiring and motivating players now, which is good. So obviously the trust is there. I just need the players to actually put the ball in the back of the net. It will be fine. We've already had a shot within the first five minutes, which has made me feel a bit better. Two minutes of our on time. What a half. Um, just an injury. That's all we had. That's all we got to see was an injury. Other than that, nothing has happened. Oh, Christ, right. Jan out into Tony. I don't care how we win it. Just win this game and just get our run back together. We rebuild again. Henry into Canos. Canos to Jones. Go on, Curtis. To Tony. To Mbuemo. That's a very optimistic hit, but he's managed to at least keep hold of the ball. Mbuemo back to Ben Johnson. He whips it in back post corner. Curtis Jones whips it in. Oh, Hel Helic where heads it away. He's a decent defender as Helic, a player that I have been having a little look at. And Buemo is having a much better day today, though, as he tries to get round his man. Gets round... Oh, my God. Well done, Ben Johnson. picking that ball up, mate. Pinnock out here. Play a good pass. Don't give it away. Thank Christ. Right, Pinnock to Canos. Canos towards Tony. Didn't work. Back to Pinnock. Keep it. Recycle the ball nicely. Pinnock to Lacow. That's nice. In between the lines. Canos to Tony. Tony to Yanel. Good ball from Yanel to Rico. He's got such a good delivery. Go on, Rico. Canos. Rico Henry. Tease it. Yanel. It's it. Curtis Jones. Great ball from Curtis to Ben Johnson. You've got to bury that. Curtis Jones. Oh, that is a Premier League quality pass there. It is not, unfortunately, a quality finish to go with it. And I've got a really bad feeling as Curtis gets on the ball again. And it's gone out for yet another corner. Suddenly, behind us, the queue is getting longer. Norwich, Watford, Bournemouth, all of them are within striking distance. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're not going to do it. We're not going to score. What an awful game of football. One awful day. That's poor. That is a poor performance. And now I'm feeling nervy. Ben Johnson's injured for... F of course he's injured. Of course. He How long's Matthias? Five weeks. It's no wonder I'm struggling. Look at the injury list. Look at it. I've got seven injuries right now. And they're not like short ones either. Oh dear. 
it's beginning to unravel. Well, in that case, we're going to have to come back for the games against Norwich and Rotherham because Norwich are now in the title hunt. So we're going to have to come back for games against Norwich and Rotherham, aren't we? <sighs> Mate, I did not need that. Look at that end of the season. Bournemouth, Watford, Bristol City. There could be so much riding on that. Ultimately, we're four points clear. But that's suddenly beginning to look a lot more dodgy now. A lot more dodgy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is it happening, viewers? Are we going to bottle it? Am I throwing it away? I hope not. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you haven't, please do drop a link. Link? A like. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like on the episode. Share, subscribe, and until I see you again, take care of yourselves, everyone. Deep breaths. It's about to get tense. Stay cool. Bollocks. Bollocks.